Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to the 1804 Show. I'm your host, Dollar Will. And thank y'all for joining me on this lovely, lovely Saturday, Saturday evening. Man, I got a special guest for you guys. Man, this guy, multi-talented, singer, writer, producer. Man, this, this dude bad. And, you know, I always try to bring some guests that has credibility. You know, you know, right now I'm listening to one of my favorite songs by him. Very talented guy, very humble cat. So I'm trying to, you know, get him in alive. But yeah, 1804, man. We get it popping over here. We don't, we don't play around here. So, I don't know what people thought this was. So, but yeah, we finna start them off real quick. What's good, superstar? What's yo, up, bro? yo, man. <laughs> man, thank you for coming, bro. Oh, man, of course, man. Thank you so much for having me, man. I appreciate it. Man, no problem, man. Shoot, like I said, man, um, it's very good that you came, man. You know, show me some love, bro, and be able to, you know, gain some new fans of the process, too. Yeah, yeah, all day. So, um, how about you? T how about you? Um, cause I I know you're probably on tour, right? Not right, not right now, man. Um, and hold on, one second, because I feel like I'm. Okay, I'm gonna give y'all some sponsors real quick. You know, shout out to. Donna Michelle for the hoodie. Shout out to Nikki Wing Shack. Shout out to everybody. You know, we gonna get them back. You know, we gonna really conduct this interview. When he come back, we gonna get him back. Shoot. But yeah, um, very talented guy, man. I've been knowing this guy for like, whew, since I was like 21. Now, you know, he's coming to, you know, hook, hook my show up. But since I wait for him, I'm going to give y'all this preview. Mm, wing Shack. Nikki's Wing Shack. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to try one. Wait till she gets back. Mm hmm. Mm. Woo! So good. <laughs> Give us just some promotion. Mm, 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 mm. See you come back. You know what? Things happen. We ain't we ain't worried about it. We gonna keep it going. But yeah, you know, sometimes we have technical difficulties, but you know, we keep we keep it going. But yeah, I'm talking to him right now. Hey, what's up, sis? Love you. Thank you for watching. But yeah, we gonna get him back, guys. Don't worry about it. Yeah, we we get him. We getting him right back now. He's coming back now. Let's see. Yeah. Oh, this internet crazy. I hate this internet. They won't let me bring them back. Okay. 
He's coming right back, guys. Sorry about that. He's coming back. Okay. Okay. So, <laughs> I, yeah, no, I think this is. I think this is better. Yeah, yeah, it's great. You know, saying so this ghetto nice, family. Nice. So, we just happy to have you yeah. here, man. You know, it's all good. You know, I ain't with Hollywood yet, so it's all good, man. I ain't tripping. Uh-huh. But yeah, um, uh, how about you? How ba- okay, man. So, how about you tell everybody your background and where you from and all that good stuff? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm, um, you know, originally from Cleveland, uh, Cleveland, Ohio, man. Um, and uh, got started, man, real young, probably like middle school age or whatever, you know, started writing and um, teaching myself instruments, you know, like, like I started, started that, you know, pretty, pretty young, man. So what, what was the, like the first time you realized she was good? Yeah, I was, I would say like, like when you're like, when you listen back to like one of your songs and you feel like you feel like the song could be on the radio, you know what I mean? Or or it's like you play a song by somebody that you really like and then you play your song after that. And and you like and you see similarities between the songs and, and all of that. Like I think that's like that's like how you you start to know like oh man like maybe maybe I am pretty good at this you know what I'm saying yeah like have you ever had stage fright it was just natural like when we went on stage uh, I, like in terms of the stage fright I was talking to somebody about this the other day man like I feel you know you know some I still just have like you know jitters man or just feel the anticipation because it's really just excitement you know what i mean like especially when it's it's like an event that you like plan for and all this all, all this excitement and all these expectations and stuff like like when you get to a point to where it's like the combination of all of that um like that it's like some of the feelings that you have, it's, it's really excitement, but it, you know, it kind of turns into anxiety sometimes, but yeah. Man, cause I'm a shy guy, bro. I can imagine like performing at a large venue somewhere, man. I, I would like get um, anxiety attacks and all that. I would pass out <laughs> all types of stuff. So, right. so that takes, so that right. takes a lot of, um, just, self devotion man to do that and and then you as a as a writer and as a singer and everything you gotta be able to deliver that story in a best possible way so you can get a standing ovation man um like i said i just admire your your gift and your talent so much and you was one of the only dudes that i I know that made it to that made it to 106 in park yeah, yeah, I I forget about that. Man. You know, I kinda... Yeah, I did it. <laughs> I remember that. I remember. I remember when they premiered that man. I was like, oh, I know him. Look at my boy. <laughs> right, right. I remember that, yeah. bro. Yeah, you made it, man. You know, yeah, like man. just, just, just that. You know, and a lot of people don't really know about Cleveland um, music scene like that. You know. But but you yeah. you know you did it big man for your city. Yeah yeah. So, um, real, real talk man. I'm sorry. No, but I was just I was just uh-huh. wondering like, I was just wondering um, wh- what are your other hobbies besides music? Oh man, like um, a big one for me, man. It's just like. Uh, you know, taking walks, man, now in nature, 
Um, I, I enjoy riding bikes, though. Um, that's what I'm really into, man. And so I, uh, you know, I ride like road bikes, you know, the bikes with the skinny tires. Um, yeah. You know, I find a lot find a lot of joy in um in doing that. You know what I mean? So um that's some that's something that I that I try to do pretty um especially now, you know, just being in, in LA. Um it's a lot more opportunities to to enjoy things that are like outdoors, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. So is this somebody that you met that you always wanted to meet that you was grateful of meeting? Yeah, I mean, I, I was, I would say so. Um, Stevie Wonder, you know, I, I think that that was like an amazing moment uh, because, you know, Stevie Wonder is like one of those people where you listen to his music and you like, you instantly say like, especially like when you're younger, you're like, and you want to do music, you're like, man, I want, I want to do it like him, you know, I want to be able to write like him, um, because he's just like one of the most influential performers, um, and 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 like his music is just so timeless, man. So I think like meeting him was was a really special moment for for a couple of reasons, man, like. I mean, it's him, right? So it's like that's that's one mm -hmm. of the reasons why it's it's really it's really amazing. But I think an, another another reason that it's amazing is is because like I got a chance to perform a song for him, and 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 he loved it, and you know, and he gave he gave me some some high praise, man. So um, that was just a, a a point in my career, man, where I really felt like. Um, you know, I felt my my confidence kick into another gear, man. Like when you have somebody like that, something positive to you about what you're doing, um, it's like validation. You know what I'm saying? Oh, absolutely, man. You know, he from my city, right? Oh, that's so. Yeah, he was born in Saginaw, Michigan. That's my city. Yeah, yeah. He from my city. Wow, wow, yeah. that's amazing, man. Yeah. I know. <laughs> Yeah, a lot, a lot yeah, of people. I never even knew that he was that he was from us. Yeah, he's yeah he's from my city. Um, we have a an entire landmark of him where his uh, old house was and everything. So, yeah, he was born in my city, and just to hear you say that, um, it means a lot because my city pretty much we so talented here, man. We so gifted, but it's just we're small. But a lot of people associate him with, yeah. with Detroit because of Motown, but he's from my city. And that means a lot, you know, just knowing oh, wow. that you met wow. somebody from my city, you know, a legend, <laughs> musical right. legend. Right, yeah. And uh, and I wanted to ask you something, man, because um, it was, you remember that time when I had called you, when I was, um, when I lost my, my ex-girlfriend and you stayed on the phone with me that night? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I do remember that. Man, I just I just want to say, bro, like, if I didn't get a chance to thank you back then, I thank you now, man, because that was the hardest, one of the hardest periods of my life. And just the fact that you was just, like, genuine about it, you know what I'm saying? You could have, you know, discarded me, but you stayed on the phone, man, and calmed me down, man. And, and I just want to say I thank you, my brother, because, you know, a lot, of, a lot of people wouldn't even have done that especially to somebody who had never met physically. So it just shows yeah, of, yeah. A, of a good person that you is. And, and I wish you nothing but the best, man, because we need good, humble people out here, man, who's spreading that love. Because that's why I just try to make sure, just with, like with my platform and everything, just by hearing y'all, you know, just my guests, you know, hearing y'all stories makes me become a better person. So. It is all about spreading love, man, and support. Yeah. So. Yeah, man, and um, I, you're welcome, man. Like I um, I think just like 
I mean, generally speaking, man, I, I, I care about people, you know what I'm saying? Um, and like somebody going through something, I try to put myself in somebody's shoes and, and like, man, like if I was this person, like, like what would I need, you know, and, and, and can I be that, you know, person in this moment? So, so um, it's just crazy when you're able to be there for, for somebody else because like that's like one of the greatest gifts in the world and it's it's like being able to be there for somebody. You know, sometimes it's like the um the intangibles, you know, it's like you may not have money to buy somebody a car, you may not have money to buy them a house or you know, stuff like that, but they might just need you to listen to them. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Yeah. And um it's 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 major, man. I'm I'm glad that we that we connected in that way, man, and, and that you trusted me, you know, with that moment in your life. Because you didn't you didn't know how I was gonna to respond to that. You know what I mean? No, and I'm glad that you was able to show empathy because you know, that's really rare nowadays. You know, I, I would say just how this generation is, empathy is pretty, you know, slowly but surely becoming extinct and I just always make sure that I show empathy, man, because I know what it's like to not um, be given it. And it just, you know, what you said, you know, just listening to somebody instead of, you know, waiting to, you know, say your, say your part or say your, your words or whatever, just actually listening and showing compassion, man, that goes a long way. And people will not forget that. That's priceless. Yeah. And yeah. I I I totally agree. I totally agree. But yeah, um, I don't want to keep you long. I know that you, you know, you, you're busy. You know, you got stuff to do. But yeah, I wanted to um ask you about who um inspire you the most. Uh, like musically. I'm just just in just in period, like just in general. Um. Um, I would say I'm inspired by, by the people, you know, I'm inspired by like the circumstances, um, that like we're trying to conquer, like as, as a people, you know, as a whole, like what I mean is like, when I, when I look at the world and I look at like, I look at the things that are like not resolved yet. Mm-hmm. You know, it could be like, you know, it could be like hunger or it could be like other types of circumstances. You know, those are like some of the things that inspire me the most to to keep going. Or even like, like how you share with me today, like your experience with, with me, you know. Um, and it's something that I like kind of forgot about, but like, like when you share that that story with me and like how impactful that was for you, I'm inspired by those things because people call me, you know, people I haven't talked to in a while, they'll call me and they'll say, hey man, you know, I never told you this, but you know, you really inspired me or you really this or, you know, or I never told you how, how important this moment was. And those are, those are the things that kind of inspire me. I, I, I think like musically, um, it's hard to pinpoint like exactly who inspires me because I listen to different types of music mm-hmm. and I enjoy so many different types of music that like, you know, so yeah, that's, that's like kind of where some of my inspiration comes from. Okay. Yeah. Cause, um, cause pretty much my platform is based off on uh, mental health and everything like that. And, you know, per- perseverance, so what was the most difficult thing that you had to encounter and how did you overcome it? Yeah. I I think um I think like one of the most difficult things for me was uh you know dealing with my mom dying um kind of like in the middle of me having so much success. Uh that was that was pretty difficult for me man because I think we all had like different whys and different 
people who help us work harder because we're doing things for them and we want them to see us be successful and we want to make them proud. Um, so when you lose like one of your wives like that, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's just a, it's a situation where like, you, you know, you, you can be like kind of lost a little bit, man, because you know, you're trying to figure out like, oh man, well, well, what am I doing it for now? You know what I'm saying? And to have so much success and to have her not dare to, to see that, uh, you know, that was pretty difficult, man. But, um, but I got, but I got through it. You know, uh, I learned a lot about myself and, um, and it is what it is. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, yeah, cause I, I, I get it, man. Cause my brother passed and like a lot of people don't understand how much of a toll that takes on you. Cause it's a part, they are part of you. And yeah. it just, I feel like, you know, I, well, who I am now, like my brother was responsible for who I am now, you know, yeah. cause each person contribute to who you are. And when you lose them, it's like you lose a piece of yourself. And, and I must say, man, I really respect you, bro. I, you, you a strong individual, bro, to still, you know, keep who, who you are and keep on doing what you're doing. Cause a lot of people, lose themselves in, 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 in that in those type of situations. Yeah. And that's why I really um just want black just want our people alone. It's to yeah. stop it's 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 just to stop taking uh mental health or grieving whatever depression like it's a joke because it's not a joke. You know yeah. life life gonna be life. <laughs> yeah so it's just yeah. all about how you pick yourself back up. You pick yourself up successfully. Yeah, man. That's that's so true, man. Because I think that, like, you know, life is uh, it's it's interesting, man, and and it does hit you hard. I think that, like, we we just need more tools. You know, I think that um, sometimes we need more tools to deal with the things that are happening in our lives. Um, and I think that like talking about that, just, just like you talking about, like, man, when you talking about it, I think that a lot of people relate to what you're talking about. Just like what you just said, there, there's a lot of people who, who might feel the exact same way, but they're not going to be the first one to say it. You know, um, it's kind of like you, you in church and like, uh, <laughs> you know, it's, it's like, it's like you, uh, it's like you in church and and the uh and the pastor says oh you know somebody give me an amen and then like so a lot of you ain't gonna be the first person to say amen mm -hmm. you yeah know? And, yeah and they might be feeling it you know they might be they might be feeling everything that the pastor's talking about but some people just can't be first and so I think that like when you have people who are brave enough to talk about some of these things, you know, whether it's mental health or, you know, fitness or like even like, uh, you know, uh, self-esteem, confidence, you know, like when you have people who are like brave enough to talk about those things, I think other people feel like it's a safe place. And, and, they're, and they're like, yeah, you know, I, I get it because I, I go through those same things, you know what I mean? Oh, oh yeah, man. Cause, cause anybody who who speak change, you, you, you gon' you gon' um, frighten some people. Cause a lot of people are stagnated by their own comfort zone, and sometimes you gotta step out your comfort zone. And, Cause ain't nothing that does nothing um grow in your comfort zone. Yeah. So. Yeah, that's so true. But yeah, man. Um. How about you tell everybody like what you're working on, like what your up and coming plans, and what can we expect from you, um, up and coming? Yeah, yeah, I'm glad you asked, man. Um, so kind of like what I'm working on right now is, um, I'm gearing up to really start pushing my new single pretty hard. Uh, we're gonna be working on uh, some visuals and, you know, pushing the song out to radio. So it's. it's it's, it's important, man, um, 
to just let you know, like, the record is called Lose It All. Mm-hmm. And, um, you know, I know that you really like the song called, um, I think, uh, Miss My Love off of my first album. Oh, yes, yes. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, and, and so, like, I feel like, you know, people grow and, and they go on a journey. And, like, um, I think that Lose It All is kind of like, a new version of, of Miss My Love. Like, this is like, if, if I would have wrote Miss My Love, like, now, this is like a, a current representation of where I am in my artistry, man. So I think it's just, um, I think it's just really important that um, that people check out the song, people go online, check it out, listen to it, share it, really get into the vibe of it, man. Um, because it's one of those songs that everybody can relate to. So, you know, kind of like all my focus is on is on that and kind of like getting that song ready to really get pushed hard. Um, I've been working on some, some music for like film and television and stuff like that. Um, and just, uh, and, um, you know, just working on working on stuff like that, man. Just you know, that's it, man. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, man, that's dope, man. And I'm gonna make sure that I'm gonna like share your your current album. You know, I'm gonna make sure that you know I promote, help you out, get you some new followers and stuff. Cause yeah, yeah. Uh, I really been telling everybody at my job about this interview tonight, so. So I'm gonna make sure everybody find you and and get to know your uh, music, man. And and, and you know I don't want to keep you long, man. I know you, that you're a busy guy. Yeah, but, yeah, it's all good, man. But I appreciate you coming to the show, bro. And and we gotta do this again, man. You know when you have like an, enough time. But but it was cool, man. I really enjoy talking to you again, man. And, and good luck to your future endeavors. Hey man, it's the pleasure is all mine, man. I'm uh, super grateful and thankful for you, man, and uh, you know your support. Um, because at the end of the day, we all need each other, bro. So you yeah. know, you you hit me up, you say, hey man, can you come, you know, do this do this interview with me? I'm like, yeah, man, like all day, man. It's 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 all good, man. I, I, I'm I'm never to a point where. I'm not gonna come on here and and, and talk, man. When, especially when somebody giving me an opportunity to share what it is that I'm doing. So, mm-hmm. uh, again, man, it, the new album is called Everything. Uh, it's out now. People can can get it on, you know, iTunes and Apple Music. Uh, they can stream it too. But like, I I really been encouraging people to go on my website, HarperMarieRecords.com, and check it out there. Um, but it's a lot of dope songs. Uh, it's like 11 super dope songs on there. You know what I mean? So, um, really just want everybody to check that out, man. So thanks for having me though, bro. I really appreciate man. it. Man, always bro, man. Like I said, man, we, we, we gotta have to do this again. And, yeah, um, oh man, no doubt, bro. So uh, let me know when you are free, man. And uh, I'm gonna make sure that, you know, I, I promote your, your record and give everyone the website and just you know take it from there bro but yeah um thank you for coming to the show bro i guess yeah. you got to do this again and you have a good day bro all right now nah, man you, you too man thanks so much man you be safe all right man likewise bro much love all right man, much all right, love bro. To you, brother. take care man you too peace, peace.